See you again soon, buzzard. No way, bub. I'm rehabilitated. This is the last time you're seeing this mug. <laughs> you said that the last 20 times. <laughs> Nobody's here to greet me? Come on. Where's everybody going? Woodpecker pal, them butterscotchy finger pies smell great. Give me one. Got me money. Uh. No pay, a no pie. Recipe. <gasps> My butterscotchy finger pie recipe. Kitchen sink. <sighs> Nothing in here. <sighs> Guess I'll have to make them by memory. I may be a bird brain, but how hard could it be to wing it? <laughs> Close enough. One butterscotchy finger pie, please. <laughs> Scotchy finger pies. Get your butter scotchy finger pies. Fresh and tasty, the way Woody used to make them. Ooh! Ooh I want hey, this is mine! And this is mine? And this is mine! Sweet, sweet money. I gotta do something. Pies, get your butterscotchy finger pies. This? The, the food police? Multiple violations? Shut me down? Back to jail? Package for a rotating resident. Told you you'd be back. <laughs> The 
like a bird. <laughs> I know you'd come through. actually read the briefing, you would know that I installed a diamond-headed pecking drill in the Woody Sub's nose. Honestly, I never got past page one. Maybe you should zhuzh it up with some sound effects. You want me to add sound effects to a printed-out dossier? Gotta think big, Wynn. <laughs> Wood. Wood Woodpecker. Wood Woodpecker? You will never stop me! Oh, yes, I will stop me! Oh, wait. Right. So, how's it going? I can't see when you're floating in front of my... Oh, sweetie, are you okay? Wood Woodpecker never loses his cool, even when he's not cool. Robot. Tell me, how does this anger make you feel? Angry? Yes, I can imagine. Well, what you need is more iron in your diet. I am sure you'll feel much better. I will send you my bill. Ooh la la! It's Lippazard! Oh, mommy! Okay! All the pretty stars! You should let change your name to Triple O Loser! Oh, he's getting away! Just use the grappling hook pen I put in your ear. What do you mean you put it in my... Oh, yeah, got it! <laughs> I win! <laughs> you are too late, Woodpecker! Gold Tusk! I knew I smelled something fishy in here. Ah, my old nemesis, Triple O Zero. <laughs> Please, I'll just peck right through these... <gasps> Unpeckable cables? You're diabolical! I am not like other bad guys, Mr. Wood. I have a plan. A dumb plan, no doubt. You haven't even heard it yet. How can you say it's dumb? Anyway, my amazing and genius plan is as follows. 
This throne is actually a giant drill, which will burrow down into the soil below and eventually hollow out the earth. Then, my wondrous plan will be to flood the hollow space with the oceans, thus creating my own inside-out water world inside this planet, where I will be king! <laughs> so, your genius plan is to make the Earth into a giant water balloon? So dumb! Oh, I think that greatly oversimplifies it. It's a solid plan. Everyone's excited about it, really. Not a buzz. And you're okay with this? I do not like care. I mean this for lemonade. Great job, Dumb Tusk. All you did was sink your dopey island. I did not anticipate this outcome. Le Bizarre, I will pay you to swim me to shore. I have no le pride, Tusk. Hop on. <laughs> Bad guys. Go figure. Wood. Wood woodpecker. Super spy. And Winnie Penny. That's not how it goes. It should be how You're it goes. You're just a girl on the screen. I'm the hero. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> I did not! Oh. That's weird! Oh, it's freezing up again! No! Oh, no, it's boiling! I think the weather must be broken! Yep, we're going on a trip! I don't know. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to file a complaint! With who? Mother Nature! <laughs> yeah. ah, no way! I'm her biggest fan! <laughs> I see you can't do anything without me. Woody Woodpecker, as I live and breathe. How are you, darling? Better than you. The world's a mess out there, lady. Yes, I've been having some uh, stuffing issues lately. That explains a lot. Oh, it's worse than I thought. I'm sorry, my darlings, but we're gonna have to pull another all-nighter. Mother Nature, this jab is way too stressful. We quit. Well, that's a bummer. What are you gonna do? Well, most of the factory is automated, so I only need a few workers. We'll help you, Mother Nature. We? Wally, you're not hiding. Uh, oh, Mother Nature, I'm a big fan of your work, especially the ocean. Great job there. Listen, would you sign my chest? Anything for a fan. <laughs> Follow me. Let's start you off with something simple. You are going to inflate clouds and you will put them in that hole. Remember, two clouds in the air are better than one in the box. You know what else is funny? Oh, no! Uh, you broke the machine! I can fix it. Scratch that. Well, boys, how's it? <gasps> Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> Stress ball. I think we need to start you on something a little easier. Let's find you something a single-cell organism can do. You simply drag this one down and create beautiful icicles that will be hung as needed. You can count on us! Ooh, this gives me an idea. 
Yeah, boop. I'm a walrus. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. <laughs> I got horns. I got ears. <laughs> hey. been this stressed out since I created the Ice Age. You know what, Mother Nature? You need a vacation. Well, most everything is automated, so as long as you don't touch anything, we should be fine. Bon voyage! But don't worry about a thing. This is our chance to shine, Wally. <sighs> At least there's no Woody Woodpecker here to screw things up for me in Guadalajara. I don't know how, but woodpecker! Uh, no, no, not that one! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ah, I love sitting on the beach, just listening to the sounds of the ocean! Oh, it's nice to get away and finally relax. <laughs> I'm sure the boys have everything well in hand. <laughs> this can't be a good sign. Maybe this button. Leave the lever here! I'm beginning to second guess my recent decision making. I have never seen so much devastation in just a few hours. Oh no, my last stress ball! Well, boys, I may have finally found a way you can dedicate yourself to the cause. Now that's dedication. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Woody! Do you have a vase for these? I, I think there's one in the kitchen. Well, what are they for? Well, today is Mother's Day. M -m 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 Mother's Day! No! <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> I hate that nickname. Looks like someone's been hitting the couch instead of the gym. Just saying. What was that? You're probably tired after your trip and hearing things. No, no, no. My mother knows. You need a nap. What's going on with the bed, Woody? Who knows? <laughs> Raccoons or something? I'm not surprised. I could not find a vase in that cluttered kitchen. I think I have a vase upstairs. Uh, go upstairs. Stay upstairs! It's a good thing you're cute. Huh? <laughs> that bed is unsuitable. 
I'll sleep upstairs. Upstairs? Ah! <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Stay <laughs> running up the stairs! Ugh, should have brought a machete. Oh, how sweet. That'll be perfect. <laughs> Sorry. imagination or is Woody crazier today than usual? Look at this place. You don't have to live like an animal, dear. But I am an animal, Mom. We all are. Yes, but we are woodpeckers, not pigs. Hey, some of my best friends are pigs. The floor is not a hamper, Woodhams. Huh, I'm gonna have to launder all of these filthy things. Laundry room, Winnie! <laughs> She's not here! Perfect. What else? Coming, mother. <laughs> Never mix white socks and colored shirts together. You're better than that. I don't know where you're getting all this laundry from, Ma. I don't even wear clothes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Mom, help! There's a sock over here! And there's another one! How did I miss that? Uh-oh! Sock assault! Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I couldn't find a vase, so this'll have to do. Woody, why is there a woman in your washer? Okay, fine. Winnie? <laughs> That's my mom. <gasps> your mom? Have you lost your mind? How nice to finally meet! These are for you! Oh, you shouldn't have! By which I mean you should have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mom, meet Winnie. Winnie, meet my mom. I couldn't find a vase in all this mess, but... Oh, this is perfect! I gave this to Woody when he was still wetting his egg. Even after he was potty trained, later than all the other kids, I might add. He, he never, never put, put the, the seat, seat down! <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What ums? Stop that, or you'll hurt someone. <laughs> Why are moms always right? <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Transylvania, home of the bloodthirsty vampire. Only one soul is brave enough to walk the dark streets of this spooky town. Wally Van Walrus, vampire hunter. I don't want to hunt vampires. They're scary. Stop being such a baby. Oh, fine. Where is the vampire? He lives in that creepy mansion on the hill. Why does it always have to be creepy? Because he's a vampire. Now get up there and don't ruin my story. <sighs> I always get the bossy narrators. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Vampire. I'm here to hunt you. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the door is locked! Let me out! The, don't come any closer, vampire! I have garlic! Bread! Vampires hate garlic! Back, scary guy! Back! Ooh. <laughs> huh? What the? Ooh! I have something else that stops vampires! A steak! Take that! And that! And that! Wait! This is my lunch bag, not my vampire hunting bag. <laughs> oh, you drank.
like my juice box. What do you think you're doing? You can't hypnotize me. Oh, where did he go? I can sense him. Where are you? Are you biting my neck? I don't feel anything. <laughs> No, I don't feel even a teensy bite. Oh, oh my goodness! I am invincible to your biting! <laughs> Wait! You cannot steal! Vampire, get ready for some feasty cups. <laughs> this suit is vampire proof. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at me, I'm a night light. <laughs> I'm okay. You're not okay. Wally Van Walrus paced the dark streets, trying to think of a way to defeat the vampire. But how? The answer was literally staring him in the face. Uh, uh, wait, it is? Is it this? Seriously? Fine. The tanning bed. Vampires can only be stopped by the sun. But there's no sun in a tanning bed. <sighs> Just take that tanning bed up to the vampire and give it to him. <laughs> Mad Dog. Hello, vampire I have never met before. You have won a free tanning bed. Ooh. It's guaranteed to make you look like a movie star. Observe. Ooh, look at me. I am literally the shade of celebrities. <laughs> burn, vampire, burn. <laughs> You're not burned. Sunscreen. Oh, you tricked me! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh my! I smell delicious! Wait, what is that look of hunger in your eyes? Oh, isn't that cute? He's hypnotizing me with his adorable little vampire eyes! There! I can't look away! If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm okay. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
To homeschool the kids, Winnie? Are you out of your mind? Have you met me? Why not Wally? He's on vacation. Chili? Dentist appointment. Buzz? Seriously, Buzz? He teaches them how to rob a bank. That's a valuable life skill. I'll do it, I'll do it. If only to keep the kids out of jail. Pretty low bar, but you're my only choice. Okay, Uncle Woody. Fill our empty heads with knowledge. 
Well, I doubt you'll heal before Winnie gets home, but if you insist... Not really, Uncle Woody. Well, I don't keep anything intelligent around the house, on principle. But here's my old science kit. I wonder if I can get this thing to go nuclear again. Aw, oh, man. I guess not. Either way, it'll still be good to teach you kids some solid knowledge. Okay, kids. First lesson. Instructions. You know what they're good for? Nothing. Ow! Those instructions are hard. What do you think this will do? Um, maybe we should wait for Uncle Woody. Nah. Cool. Not cool! Not cool! Remember when I said don't read instructions? <gasps> uh, scratch that. One from column A, two from column B. Anyone feel like anything happened? Oh, I don't know. I feel hungry. Me too. I love that Uncle Woody never gives up, even when he fails miserably. Listen, kids, if I'm going down, I'm going down hard. I bet that's the first time you ever used this bathtub, Uncle Woody. Uh, more of a bird bath kind of guy. I just thought it would be cooler that way. But if you guys want to ruin it... Hmm, which way do you think the critter went? Gee, I wonder. <laughs> no, let's see. <laughs> that might have been a poor choice of words. Saved your butt! Uh, how are we going to stop this monster? You guys need a plan. We need a plan? I'm not the student. You're the student. So stewed! If we use you as bait, we can... Why am I the bait? You be the bait! I'm older. Look, I don't make the rules. That's just how it is. Anyway, once it's flat, we grab the plunger and... You be the bait! Fine, fine. I'll fix everything. You're welcome. Think, Woodpecker, think. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna... Do? Genius! Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't get me. That shouldn't even be possible, Uncle Woody. Admit it, Uncle Woody. You didn't plan that. Why label it? Let's just say I'm a genius and be done with it. Hi, kids. How's your day been? It was really boring and completely uneventful. We also have a new appreciation for science. I thought you kids might be hungry after all your studying, so I made your favorite. <laughs> 
sometimes it's better to just not ask. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Captain Woodrow Quirk here. My galactic crew and I have received a strange distress call from the planet Peckwood 5. We are heading there despite half of it being inside the Forbidden Zone. That would be unwise, Captain. Smokster, where did you come from? Stop sneaking up on me like that. Captain, the Alliance forbids us to go to the Forbidden Zone. They can't tell me what to do. Actually, they can. They'll put you in a cool, dark military prison forever. Walligan! Take us to Petwood 5. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> my plan is coming together perfectly. I will have my revenge! Walligan, ready to beam! Ah. Okie dokie, Captain. <laughs> Greetings, Captain. Ah, Spockster, I swear I'm gonna put a bell on you. <laughs> no, the Captain does not want to trade shirts with you, and neither do I. Walligan, beam! Captain, let me get my calibration unit. Calibrated. That's better. We've landed on the purple side of Peckwood 5. Across from us is the Forbidden Zone, which is orange. Everything appears calm. Except for those giant space worms. Sure. That's Winix of Peck, Queen of Peckwood 5. Well, it won't be long before she's falling for me. <laughs> the courtship has begun! <laughs> Excuse me. You idiot! You're on the border of the Forbidden Zone. Well, you're in the Forbidden Zone. It's my planet. It's only forbidden for you. Oh, um, huh? Pass! Walligan! Shoot me! So you're telling me you did not send a distress signal to come immediately? <laughs> not even a little bit. Well, if not you, uh, who? <laughs> <laughs> it was I who sent that message, and I will have my revenge on you! Buzz of Zard. You still mad about that thing? <laughs> Anyone want to catch me up on the thing here? Uh, we have uh, history. Ha! But what you do not have is a future! <laughs> you just started a war! Once both sides annihilate themselves, that will leave me to sit in as ruler of the galaxy! <laughs> the only way to call off the war is to get to the command ship and tell them in person. You think this thing is gonna work? One can only hope. Ha! Ah, cool pose! Hey, Commander Kevin. Yeah, so, <laughs> big mistake. This was all set up by Buzz of Zard. Standard revenge plot. <laughs> what she said. Oh, I wish I had a space buck for every time Buzz has done that. <laughs> okay, fine, we'll call off the war. Toodles. <laughs> How 
did you find us? Ooh, I used this handy ego tracker. Let me straight to you, Captain. You didn't have to do that thing you did. Well, you didn't have to be so mad about the thing I did. What's this, this thing already? Hey, my wallet! Years ago, Woody stiffed me with a bill for ten bucks at the Space Diner on Nebulon 6. All this over ten dollars? That's right, and I'm taking it back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Busy copying luchador moves. You know, I used to be a great wrestler back in the day. They called me the Crimson Crest. You were a wrestler? You bet your bippy I was a wrestler. Let me show you. I was famed the world over. Wow. Could you beat him? You left. Russell. Well, you know I was pretty good in my day, fella. They called me Flabalanche. <gasps> He's wearing a championship belt. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't care how many belts you have, Wally. Uh, there's no way you could beat me. <laughs> no way. Oh, I think I give you a run for your money. I hope you like riding the elevator, because you're about to go down. More wiry than I expected. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Hey, Woody, I'm over here. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. I can't see out of this mask. I'm gonna rearrange your uh, face. Uh. <laughs> Double. Uh. <laughs> Don't have kids. Rude. Do your worst, Woodpecker. Reverse! 
rehearsal. I am the winning one. Well, if the announcer said it, you better do it. Hmm, that makes sense to me. Oh, what's this? Flatlands just starts hitting himself. <laughs> and now the Crimson Crest Twist Flatlands is lagging into a pretzel. Oh, look, it's a pretzel. <laughs> Wait a minute! That's my leg! No! I told you I could beat Wally! Never bet against three wood points! Now it's time for my finishing move! What? Lightning Kite! Whoa! That outcome was shocking! to show you how to grill up my famous ground and pound lentil loaf. Booyah! Ooh, that guy has a grill. Perfect. This lentil loaf will get you a one-way ticket to the chow train. Woo -woo! Excuse me, chow. I'm trying to get to the chow train. Hey, you just derailed the chow train. Trust me, it was a train wreck before I got here. Hey, look, I'm filming my TV show here. Ooh, the camera loves me, and I love it back. Beat it, bub. I have cheese to slice. No worries. I'll cut the cheese. Ew, oh, my. Now that the cheese is cut, make with the cookage and whip me up some burgers. I'm not cooking any meat. I'm a vegetarian. A vegetarian? Oh, can you take a look at this little mole on my back? Hey, what's up? I'm not a veterinarian, I'm a vegetarian, and I do not eat meat. So, you've never had cotton candy covered in bacon? This woodpecker's brain is experiencing technical difficulties. Now listen, I only eat plants, nuts, and berries. Well, what if I told you the snake's name was Barry? I'm a vegetarian, son. Meat ain't in the mix. <laughs> to give that chef his just desserts. All right, everyone. Now it's time to prepare my pasta pasta because you just pasta eat it. <laughs> you put sausage in my pasta pasta. I guess you has to eat it. But I can't eat sausage. All right, fair enough. Hey, pop quiz. What kind of chilies are these? Ooh, I know this one. <laughs> that was a TNT chili. I win! Listen, Woodpecker, what will it take to get you to leave me alone? 
Cook me up some meatage. Meet this! <laughs> now then, let's get back to Chow Town. <laughs> uh, for my next dish, I need to chop up some veggies. Chop, chop, chop. Then I brush on the marinade. Brush, brush, brush. Then I boil them in this pot. Now I just wait until it boils. Boil, boil, boil. And then I eat them. <laughs> this tastes like feet. Nothing gets past you, ain't right, boy? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry about all that, folks. Let's uh, get a close-up of this bodaciously bold broccoli. <laughs> That's too close! Enough! No more close-ups! Okay, how about an overhead shot? Tonight, I'm gonna make my special crushed wolf with vegetables! Step one, crush a wolf! Step two, cook the vegetables! The vegetables are done. Now I can finally cook my food. Woo -woo. I told you, no meat. Hmm. <laughs> How do you get rid of a wolf? Huh? Hey, isn't that Little Red Riding Hood? What? Where? Yes, victory is mine. Watch me teach this woodpecker a lesson he'll never forget. Mmm, that meat smells delicious. Oh. You know, I'm beginning to realize that I didn't quite think this through. <laughs> you think? Still want to get me to eat meat? No, I'm good. You sure? 